No! This can't be! I have put on a great show, but you are the only one to enjoy the grand finale. What a shame. But you should feel honored, because you are the only one that gets to know this secret. It's you? How can this be? Surprised, huh? I love that surprised look on your face. My smart kid, I believe you have figured out a lot of the details. However, I still have to reveal the full picture to you. With your limited intelligence, you will never be able to see the full picture. I am glad to spend a few minutes to explain it to you, because I'd be saddened if my greatest achievement were known to no one. Alas, I will have to get accustomed to loneliness very soon, because the throne always has loneliness for company. It is the side effect of sovereignty. That's right. Masamune Tachibana and the King's Blade are one. The only difference is, one wears the mask, the other one does not. I am your teacher, and I am also your brother's teacher. I command the Devil Clan, and I also command the Hydra. You lack ambition. Without me, you won't be able to find God for another millennium! I made you hate each other, and battle one another so that you would search for God at all cost. Because neither of you wants the other side to revive God. Greed is a wonderful trait. The desire of humanity drives the world to evolve. Who are you? Who are you really? Dr. Jung von Herzog the sole director of Black Swan Bay, and the person who knows the most about dragons in this world. Unlike you freaks, despite the lineage disadvantage, I do think like a dragon. I guess you heard about Black Swan Bay from this person, right? But they didn't know that Bondarev told me more. At the bottom of the Sea of Japan lies an ancient city 10,000 years old, and the holy corpse of the Light King. There's no other chance to turn a human into a dragon. However, the awakening of the holy corpse has a great cost. The life of another Elder Dragon. Do you still remember this place? I will never forget this place. It was this place that once gave me a dragon. A real elder dragon. Bonder have said it never truly dies. There is a cocoon hiding in the corpse. Black Swan Bay was abandoned. But we kept the best of our experiment results. Including the best hybrid that I have ever created. Including you and your brother, along with frozen embryos and some core data. But then, Bondarev betrayed me. I didn't see that coming. He shot me in the back, stole my lifetime research work, and left with the black swan. The bombardment. 
devoured me. I was heavily burnt. The blizzard came afterwards and buried me in snow. Fortunately, the extreme cold of Siberia saved me. With great effort, I made my way to Japan. Then I learned that the Black Swan had sunk in Japanese waters. At that moment, I realized that Bondarev had started his plan to revive God prematurely. I would never let him get his hands on the throne of the world. It is mine! In Japan, I had plastic surgery to reconstruct my burnt face and forged my identity as a Japanese man. I found Bondarev in the waters of Takamagahara and killed him. I found a journal in his personal effects, in which he had recorded the entire God revival process, as well as my research results. Bondarev wanted to inherit my legacy, make me his food, use my work to feed his power. But I ate him instead. As before, I remain at the top of the food chain. I found Bondarev's base of operations in Tokyo, where he stored the embryo blood of the Elder Dragon that he'd taken from the sunken Black Swan. I also found some prototype evolution medicine in the lab. When I realized that he had prepared everything, I was so thrilled. Now that the foundation stone of my ascension to the throne is already laid, why would I abandon this great plan? I will be the one to finish the work my comrade Bondarev has started. However, I did not find my most important research achievement in that apartment. In fact, do you know what my greatest achievement is? I would appreciate you, whether as friend or a rival. It is you, your brother, and your sister as well. At that time, she was nothing but a frozen embryo. Ari, is my little sister? Well... Technically speaking, I can tell you that she is not the only sibling of yours. A fun family fact to know, isn't it? I've got another one. Do you want to hear it? In fact, your lineage is identical to that of your brother. You are not a malevolent devil. What are you saying? What... What are you saying? I said, you are not a malevolent devil at all. Your bloodline is stable. Did you ever wonder... Why you look different from the other devils? You have no sign of mutation. And you don't kill for sport. It's more like you're enchanted. We had most of the test subjects undergo a lobotomy as part of the treatment. Except the defective ones. With my improvements, the operation will create a second personality. Each personality resides in one of the two brain hemispheres. In general, one hemisphere holds the good personality, like nobility, justice, and high morals, whereas the other half hosts the negative personality, which is full of violence, self-centeredness, and ferocity. I can choose to activate either of them with a specific trigger. Back then, I invoked your negative personality 
and then kept you mesmerized by it ever since. That is the reason why your brother has always viewed you as a lunatic, a monster. He is a good lad. Too obsessed with his way of justice, though. <laughs> he loves you as much as he wants to kill you. <coughs> I always have your brother under my control, but you're different. You almost managed to break free from my grasp. The little boy inside you is stronger and more persistent than I had imagined. You even managed to overpower Uri Kazama. Who would have thought the two rivaling personalities would come to terms over killing me? You have caused me too much trouble, as well as your friends from Castle College. Therefore, I had to orchestrate a show on top of the Tokyo Tower. I had to abandon one of my identities to ease your brother's suspicion, and I used the tension to bring your brother and you to this final showdown. I really, really enjoyed watching you battle against each other, bathed in tears. The rumors are true. You Japanese are foolish. The world has already changed. Power and strength have become the eternal law. Yet you still put your head in the sand, indulging yourselves with so-called righteousness and principle. Oh, I almost forgot. You, my surprise. I never imagined that you would survive, let alone join Castle College. And to my greatest surprise, you have become so powerful. According to my previous research record, you were just a dispensable subject. Did Castle College conduct some experiments on you in the last two decades? Did they help you evolve from a loser to what you are now? Someone who could combat a Dragon Lord? <laughs> what happened? Let me guess. Was it that your beloved principal dispatched you on this suicide mission? without telling you anything about yourself. Where did they find you? For how long have you been asleep? What did they do to you over all these years? What makes you so powerful that you can even master the blood rage? I have talked too much. It is time to witness the miracle. If you would bear with me for a few more seconds, please. You may have the privilege to witness the greatest evolution of all. The ancient path to the beyond will be connected today. I did it! The ascension from humanity to dragons has been realized! Now, please allow me to present my perfect creation. I considered you the most important secret to my success. But your sister is worth more than both of your lives. You and your brother are nothing compared to her. You are mere byproducts of the experiments. Save her!
I killed the god! Because it meant nothing to me! I thought too highly of you, King's Blade. I believed that you were the most cold-blooded human there was, and had adopted the dragon's way of seeing the world. That's why I was terrified to death of you. But now I see you for what you really are. A rat! <laughs> A rat from inside out! As much as you scorn humans, you have all of humanity's worst traits. Greed, cowardice, and such pettiness. Even if you transform into a dragon, what's the point? Even the dragons wouldn't want someone like you in their midst. <laughs> what can you do, here and now? You can kill my brother and me, but there's no way for you to live. There is no hope for you. My friends will hunt you down to the ends of the earth! All of us will perish eventually. I'll get to die with my brother by my side. You've lived the life of a rat. Lived like a true rat. And thus you will die as a dirty little rat. Laugh all you want. I will wipe that smile off your face. I guessed right. Eddie Ojo-san is a, a devil. And physically isn't unstable monster. You think That's how that I would you I was the perfect if I fail as well? On my will have to throw Eri into that well. And turn her. She she is is a it is a rare call whether to kill her or not. life in order to save many. Is she doesn't it know big anything. Big? for you. Let's go find my brother together. This is Ares' last chance. Trust me so much. He bet on me to his last breath. On any other day, that'd be enough to get me going. But I'm sorry. I can't defeat the King's Blade. Only that devil can. And I don't want to see him again. Save your breath. He can neither see nor hear us. This is my world. You can do nothing here. Only he can decide. I'll sync all the messages to you, including those from my brother. point in letting her see me like this.
What's my brother thinking? Let's find out. So that's why she reached out to me. Wow. The princess wants to elope with me in her private jet. Aha! Where there's a will, there's a way. See, Mingzi? I've got people I can count on. A private jet can be a real lifesaver. Forget Caesar and Johan. This is the heavy artillery. Come to think of it, though, it's quite the selfish thing to do. The whole city is about to be destroyed, and instead of going to her brother and family, she's coming all the way out here for me? So she does like me, huh? I wasn't imagining things when she hugged me back in Eggie make him. How can she be stupid enough to like me? Looks like my brother isn't as stubborn as we thought. Sakura-kun! Sakura-kun! Here you are. Are you alright, Sakura-kun? Not looking too good, is it? Foreign imported. Perfect for you. Looks like it's all on you and me now. Sir, isn't this a karaoke place? Stop messing with me. Don't you know how to use it? You're just waiting for an opportunity, right? Tell me, how can I assist? The boss once said that you will be our savior. I don't really know who you guys are, but I can tell that you are from a mysterious organization, right? Sir, if you think of our organization as a mountain, then not only do we have apex predators like tigers and lions, we also have the likes of rabbits and monkeys. Sakuraka. Don't be modest. You haven't reached your potential. The boss said you'd be even more powerful than Basara King and Ukyo once you truly unleash yourself. Stop kidding, sir. Don't tell me that you believe that yourself. If I could, I would fight my way out of here with you. But I'm just not your guy. Caesar and Johan were the guys you first wanted, and you made the right choice. The thing is, they aren't here right now. I see. I understand. Harry! No way! Why would she be there? Time to make a choice. It's all up to my brother. No! I'm just an ordinary guy. The Red Well is at least 20 odd kilometers from here. I'll never get there in time. And even if I make it there, then what? Only the best of us can make a difference. Without Ming Zi, there's no chance for me at all. But I only have two transactions left. After that, my soul belonged to Ming Zi. You're welcome to try. I made the first deal for Nono, and I'll never regret that, even if she likes someone else and ends up marrying him. The second was for Johan. The guy's got it all, and he was willing to risk everything for me. So, what's a quarter of my soul in comparison? Apart from them, who would be worth a quarter of my soul? Eri? I know she likes me, 
But that's not real. Why would she, anyway? She doesn't even know my real name. She just thinks that she likes me because she's young and doesn't know any better. She doesn't realize that Boss and Johan did a makeover on me. When she grows up and stops being so naive, she'll realize that her Prince Charming is nothing more than a loser riding a donkey. Girls are all like that, aren't they? When you're little, she'll come to share your candy, but when she grows up and meets Prince Charming, then candy won't be enough anymore. So when she dresses up and walks out the door one day, don't wait for her to come back for your candy. Every time a girl saw the real me, they ran for the hills. Which is a good thing. It's fair because, this way, nobody owes anybody anything. Looks like my brother has made a decision. I thought you'd stand up and finish those monsters. Fair enough. I'll ask for help. As your manager, it is my responsibility to keep you safe. Thank you. No! What the hell? Death Servitor is everywhere! Go then. Disappear. Got a lot of guts, Mr. Broom. You Sakura-kun, I was right about you. You really are the man I thought you to be. Sir, why did you come out? Because this is my club. You are my staff. I need to protect you. Have you ever wondered how a man like me could own a building like this in the center of Tokyo? The building was the property of a former customer. Before she passed away, she left a will. She insisted on leasing this building to me for a very low price. For as long as I live. <coughs> Even with the will, I still don't recall who this customer was. <coughs> the will came with a letter saying she remembered that I wanted to start my own business someday. She said, Well, this will be your first foothold. Now, run the best club in Shinjuku and offer a place for those lost souls that wander through the darkness. Yet, I still cannot remember who she was. I said similar things to a lot of people back then. When I entered the industry, I was just a poor boy. So I tried to say something bold in front of the customers to get them to support me by spending more money. I didn't think any of them actually took me seriously. <coughs> Since I don't even remember who I made the promise with, the least I could do to repay her for her generosity is to run the 
very best club in Shinjuku. Her spirit will be watching over me from heaven. She must have been very lonely when she met me, seeking a place to stay in Midnight Tokyo. So she picked me. Here's a tip for you, Sakura-kun. The price a woman pays for falling in love with a man is often so much higher than what a man has to pay for loving a woman. Sometimes it will cost her entire life. So that's what women are like, huh? We think they're so mysterious, but they're actually quite simple. If they like you, they'll believe anything you say. So that's why Ari believed all my bullshit. Because she liked me. She really wasn't all that bright to begin with. And that just made it even worse. But why did Ari fall for me in the first place? I don't even know where or when I might have given her the wrong impression. Oh right! Back then on the sea floor! That girl! That wasn't No-No, that was Ari! So, I hugged her tight, and then she thought it was meant for her. So my brother's finally come to his senses, sadly. Women. Uh gentle. That is why we need to love them and care for them. Sir! Sir! Spare the drama, alright? Finish what you've started. If you're too scared, get out of my way! I need to go save her! The car's at the parking lot two blocks away from here, just behind the ramen shop. Now this all ruined by the flood. There are only 99 of these babies in the world. Take good care of it. You've already crashed one of my cars. Let's go get my brother together. I won't let him see you.